Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be giving you some tips for how to create a luxury style website using Shopify. You can follow the tips in this video if you have a beauty business, a clothing boutique, and if you sell other types of products. I'll be showing you how to customize your website's cart page. I'll be showing you how to customize and optimize your website's menu links, including your footer menu links and your main menu, and different ways you can choose to display that menu. And I'll be showing you a few different ways you can incorporate an email signup through your website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. The first tip I can recommend for enhancing your website pages would be to customize your cart page. You have a few different ways that you can customize your cart page. You can add banners, email signups, and also featured product collections if you would like. Here on Shopify, you're going to click online store, then click themes. You'll be able to go ahead and customize your currently published theme, or you can also choose to install one of Shopify's free themes. When you open your theme editor, this is where you'll be able to edit your website and you'll be able to click to open specific pages. In case you need to preview your website, you'll be able to click these three dots, then click view. And this is where you can view your website in full screen. Here inside your theme editor, you're gonna click to open your cart page. And I'll be showing you how you can add a banner to your cart page. I'd also had to feature a product collection. I went ahead and added an example product to the cart. And over to the left side of the page under template, I'm gonna click add section. And here I'm gonna import an image banner. I'm gonna position this image banner above this cart section. I'll be designing this image banner and turning it into a mini introduction header for the cart page. I'm going to remove the container on desktop. Then I'm also going to change the color scheme of this section. Up here is where you can choose to upload one or two images for the background of this image banner. And before I add those, I'm going to click on this heading text. And here's where you can add the introduction text for your cart page. Up here, you'll have a few different text editing options. You can choose to put this text in bold and italic. And here under heading size is where you can choose to increase or reduce the size of the heading text. For the text description, you can choose to add a mini tagline text. And you'll also have the option for the button label to title these and link them to another page within your website. I'll be removing both of these button labels. Next, under first image, I'll be uploading a background picture. Here under banner height is where you can choose to adjust the size of the banner. I'll be setting this to small. Then under image overlay opacity is where you can choose to make the overall image darker. And that's a way that you can add an image banner to your cart page. This can add a sophisticated introduction into your cart page. You're going to want your cart page to tie in cohesively with the rest of your website. For this website, I've done a soft and neutral color palette and I've incorporated some beige, brown, and white colors. So to help your cart page tie in, you'll be able to click on each section. And here under color scheme is where you want to be sure to apply your website's top color schemes. And you can play around with different color schemes. But in general, you're going to want to make sure that this page ties in with the rest of your website's design and color palette. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're going to receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses, and I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step-by-step Dub installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can shop my other Shopify themes. Then another type of section you can choose to add to your cart page would be a featured product collection. This can help you to push out a specific product collection or any add-ons that you would like your customers to consider adding to their cart. Here I'll be adding a featured collection. I'm going to change the color scheme of this section. Then under collection is where you can select which product collection you would like to feature. And here under quick add is where you can choose to add the quick add to cart button beneath those products. And that's a quick beginner friendly way that you can add a high end touch to your cart page. Next, I'll be showing you how to customize your website's footer menu, as well as how to customize your main menu. You want to create an organized navigation for your main menu. This will help your visitors to easily navigate your website. To start, I'm first going to show you how to customize your main menu. Currently, there is a catalog page link. This is going to take customers to the shop all page. And there's also a link to the contact page. Here on Shopify, I'm going to click navigation. Then you can choose to open your main menu or to create a new menu. Here, when you click add menu item, 
This is where you can add new links to other pages within your store to your main menu. First off, I'll be adding a link to the website's homepage. And next, you can choose to add a link to your website's search bar. For your product collections, you can choose to add a link to your all collections page. Or you can also choose to add links to each individual collection. First off, I'll be adding a link for the all collections page. Then I'm going to be creating a drop down, which will be the links to each individual product collection. When you click this icon right here next to the collection name, then when you drag it off to the right side, it's going to add a drop down link. And that's how you'll be able to create drop downs on your menu. Next, you can choose to add more links to your menu. You can add links to specific products within your store. So for example, if you have a new arrival product or a bestseller, you can add a link to that product here on your main menu. You can choose to add links to other pages within your store, including your contact page, and you can add links to your blog, blog posts, and your policy pages. Here for the final link, I'll be adding a link to the contact page. Then when you open your website, you're going to click on this header bar and right here under menu is where you can assign that new menu. And here's the display of the updated menu. Here it's created a dropdown for those collections. And there's also a link to the contact page. And that is a way that you can customize your website's main menu links. When you also click on this header bar, under desktop menu type is where you can choose to edit the display of the menu. Here when I select a drawer, it's going to hide away the menu to create a more minimal look for the website. So when visitors click these three lines, it's going to show a drop down for the menu. Then you're going to scroll down. And here I'll be showing you how you can customize your footer bar menu and also how to add your logo to the menu bar. Here on Shopify, I'm going to click navigation. Then you can choose to open your footer menu or create a new footer menu. I'll be adding a link to the homepage of the website and I'll also be adding a link to the all collections page. I'm going to add a link to the default blog page. Then you can also add links to your store's policy pages. And then last, I'll be adding a link to the contact page. Then you're going to open your website and I'm going to click on this footer bar. I'm going to click this arrow back. And here under footer, I'm going to click add block. And this is where you can choose to add a menu block. When you click on this menu, you can select which menu you would like to assign. Then I'm going to click add block again, and I'm going to insert an image block. And this is where you can choose to upload your logo here under image. And under image width is where you can increase the size of your logo. And once you're done, that is a way that you can customize your website's footer bar menu. And for the last tip, I'll be showing you a few different ways you can incorporate an email signup. You can choose to add your email signup to the homepage of your website, and you can also choose to add it to your footer bar and also to other pages in your website. All right, so I've opened my website and you wanna go ahead and add a section to your website. Here is where you can choose to insert an email signup section. And off to the left side of the screen is where I'll have a few different editing options. You can choose to assign a different color scheme and you can also choose if you would like to make the section full width. When you uncheck this box, it's going to create a sort of floating email signup. I'm going to click on this heading text, and here is where you can write a call to action to encourage your visitors to join your email list. And under heading size is where you can adjust the sizing of the text. And you can do the same thing and write a mini tagline text here for this text subheading. And once you're finished, that's how you can add an email signup to your website. Then to add the email signup to the footer section of your website, you're gonna click on this footer bar and right here under email signup is where you can select to show the email signup. Then you can also write in a mini text or call to action right here under heading to represent the email signup. And here's how this section appears on mobile. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. 
If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're going to receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Also, if in general, you're not too familiar with the use of Shopify, I do have an in-depth Shopify basics guide that has a wide range of sections teaching how to use Shopify, how to set up Shopify payments, how to read your analytics page, launching products, and also how to launch your store. In this guide, I've included video tutorials, written text explainers, and screenshots to help you navigate Shopify and understand each section of the guide. And I will link that in my description box below. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video.